Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to my top 10 vlog moments compilation video. Um, I thought it was uh, sort of apt to do it at this stage. Uh, I've just hit 15,000 subscribers, which is nothing short of, well, phenomenal really. Um, one man and his dog used to watch way back in 2014 and uh, uh, I've steadily grown since then, but the last six months have been something else because we only celebrated 10,000 subscribers back in November. So it's been an incredible six month period for me. Um, and uh, uh, yeah, I thought it would be a good uh, chance to look back and uh, be a bit sort of self-indulgent and just uh, show you a little bit of uh, some of the bits that I enjoyed, particularly out of the trips over the last four years. Um, 200 and odd uh, videos, so there's a lot of content there, so I've, I've just selected uh, the best 10 sections. Um, and uh, just before I do that, I just wanted to um, show you something that um, Matt Bates, otherwise known as the Black Country Vlogger, uh, sent me. He sent me my very own um, <laughs> Lego model of myself, um, with a Budweiser bottle uh, and T-shirt and also on the back, you even have the back, the vlog logo on the back as with the T-shirt. And it's a bit worrying really that I do actually look like a, a Lego model, but um, I'll take that and uh, thank you so much, Matt. Um, and uh, if you want to subscribe to Matt's channel, please do. I'll put his um, link uh, to his channel below. He does some great Vegas content and his uh, outtake videos are legendary. Um, I've, I've laughed hysterically over those more than once. Um, anyway, so we've got, uh, I mean, full in, full on uh, Dennis Norden sort of uh, clipboard territory here for UK viewers, if you remember him. Um, so we're going to go straight on with number 10. Um, this is from my third vlog uh, from January 2016. I did, uh, my initial one was in um, uh, March, April time in 2014. I then did another um, in uh, October 2015. Um, and to be honest, I wasn't really that happy with those vlogs. They were very, very rough. Um, I was playing around with ideas. Um, but really the, the structure of the vlogs, whilst they've got slightly better, has always remained the same. A bit of slot play, a bit of Vegas sights, and me rambling on. There was less rambling on to start with. Um, but I think I finally found my feet a little bit in January 2016. Um, and after a night, the preceding night um, of this particular um, series of clips, uh, I went to Aria and Cosmo, and I really found Aria to be completely soulless at the time. I've grown to like it since, but uh, I decided the following night, uh, and this is episode four of the January 2016 trip, trip number 31, um, I was going to go old school. So I was going to head from Treasure Island, where I was staying, up to Circus Circus and have an old school slot night in Circus Circus. And it's one of my most memorable nights in Vegas, actually, that I was only betting, you know, sort of 75 cents a press on double, triple diamond deluxe with cheese. But I got a fantastic bonus on that. Um, and then I went on my favorite Red Hot Fusion machine at 125 a bet and got my best filmed bonus on Red Hot Fusion. So uh, it was probably the first time I felt comfortable with the camera walking around just sort of saying what's on my mind, and that's uh, been pretty much what I've done ever since. Um, so anyway, enjoy this. If you want to watch the whole vlog in its entirety, um, I will put all 10 um, videos that these clips were taken from in order down below. So if you want to know what, if you don't want to know the uh, the running order, don't look at the description. Um, but if you want to look at the vlogs in their entirety, the links are all down below. Um, so let's take a look at January 2016, A Night at Circus Circus, number 10, in my top 10 vlog moments. So here we are at the old Riviera, sadly closed. I hope they do something with this tower, like preserve it somewhere, because it is iconic in Vegas. We just implode it. Many a good night I've had in there, I tell you. I'm getting all sentimental. And this whole area used to be fantastic um, 10, 15 years ago. I mean, just here obviously was where the Stardust was. And can you believe in 2016 it will be 10 years since it closed and they've not built anything in its place? I can't believe it wasn't profitable. And then of course here you've got McDonald's, which was the fabulous Westwood Ho. Criminal, because we need another McDonald's, don't we? We really do. I'm going into full on middle-aged man moaning mode now. <laughs> But this area used to be really good. You had, as I said, Westwood Ho, Stardust, 
Circus Circus, Slots of Fun and Riviera all in a little huddle. And it was a good place to stay. I always used to stay at Stardust. And now you just got uh, Slots of Fun and Circus Circus left. And here we are at a property that doesn't even divide opinion. It's probably the most hated property on the Las Vegas Strip. <laughs> but I'm going to show it some love tonight. Hopefully by not giving it uh, too much of my own money. Take all that back. Seven 
into a good bonus, I tell you. Come on, be quicker. Yeah. Tell you what, this game and the last one uh, is what Vegas is all about. I mean, you say things and things just, I don't know. It's all a random thing. <laughs> making no sense. a game where, right, it just shows what happens. Uh, if you ever want an example, this is it. Superb. So a cracking night actually, and I think I won between three and four hundred bucks that night, uh, just playing quite small bets. Um, so uh, Circus Circus did me well um, on that occasion. Um, so that was number ten. Number nine, we're going to go into the group slot pool um, section now. Um, I could have picked a number of group slot pool moments as my favourite. There's been a number of hand pays and fantastic people I've met, and that's been one of the real... Um, joys for me is to meet up in Vegas with fellow Vegas fans um, and play stakes that I wouldn't normally be able to play uh, on a solo basis um, and have some really really good winning group slot pools uh, but I have to go back to the very first one because at that point I'd had no hint of a hand pay um, uh, since 2007 we're now in August 2018 for this particular clip and the first sort of six minutes of this video uh, are some of the luckiest um, slot moments of any session I've had the pleasure of being involved with. So number nine from uh, August 2018, the first ever group slot pool. Okay, so we're in the Cosmopolitan and this is the first vlog group pool actually. Uh, we're all putting in 100, so we've got 700 in there. Got we've got a whole load of people. Woo! Wave to the camera, everybody. So we've got 700 bucks. We're all gonna play uh, 10 spins each. Hopefully, we're going to come out with some money. Let's see. Better. So, right, who's going? <laughs> who's going first? Ladies first. Ladies first. Come on then. Louise, come on then. Okay, yeah, yeah. Come on. Come on. Actually, hang on. We might have to. There you go. Right. 
Or just put, yeah. No. no, it doesn't yeah, work. Do, do max, yeah, just do max. Just do max, yeah. That's yeah. Right, no. No, 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 you're doing 10, you're doing 10, yeah. You're doing 10. Thank God it's not, no, just press the max. There you go. Come on. Come on. All right, here we go. 25. Try again. Now, I, 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 you've got to try again for that. 35 or more. That's what you're I normally play 45 or more anyway. 35 or more. Yeah. I'd carry it up there. Well. I'd carry on. So, yeah. Yeah, baby. Oh, you're 250, 250 bucks. Nice one, Louise. Nice one. Yeah, 250. That's good. Yes. There you go. Look at that. How many is that? So, how many spins have you had now? Three, yes. This is your fourth. Yeah, You're on fire. I'm in a cut. I'm in a cut. Yes. <laughs> no, no. Do you just want to do every spin? <laughs> no, no. Third offer. No. no. Come on. Thousand, thousand. That's okay. Right, good job, good job. What a start. Yeah, that was oh, awesome. you're a winner. Very good. This is our seventh. This is our seventh. Yeah, spin them all. Yeah, just carry on, yeah. Has <laughs> she been slapping all week? No. <laughs> spin number seven. Do you actually stay in on with us? You can be, uh, just play my money, it's fine. <sighs> spin number eight. Oh. oh. Close. Oh, hey Louise, that was fantastic. More, oh, you got one more? Okay. Yeah. No! Oh! <laughs> Hang on a minute! <laughs> Unbelievable! That's okay. That's okay. What a great ten spins. Three spins out of ten. What can you say? That will not be done again. Who will be done again? Who wants to follow that up then? Next is the next lady. She can take my ten spins. Here we go. Here we go. Ten spins. Here we go. Come on. Yeah. Oh. So 1,140 so far, so it's looking good. Oh, really? Yeah. It's ridiculous. Oh. 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 oh, come on. Come on. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Oh, that's my five spin. No. Oh, oh, yeah, okay. Go on then. I usually spin with my tongue. <laughs> oh, no, tongue's not. Tongue's, tongue's not like it's tongue, 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 Oh my word! What can you say? 
What can you say? Come on, everyone. I mean, what is that? I mean, come on. Come on. Unbelievable. Holy shit. Unbelievable. What is going on? This is ridiculous. You're still got two left. Handbag. Handbag. Oh, yes. <laughs> that is insane. That is absolutely insane. Yeah. Hey! No, I think you should. <laughs> right, I, I need to lie down. I'm going to just pause this for a second. I'll be back with you. <laughs> That's uh, 1600. Incredible. incredible. Absolutely incredible. Yeah, so how cool was that? Um, totally unexpected, and uh, I think we celebrated a little bit. Uh, so uh, hi to all you guys if you are watching this. That really was uh, very, very memorable. Okay, number eight. Um, we're now going back to January 2019, the first episode of the January 2019 trip. Uh, that is trip number 38. Um, on this particular one, I had a nightmare trying to get to the downtown Grand. Um, I've been uh, delayed in the airport through immigration. I then had a delay at... Uh, the car rental company who refused to hand over the car um, at the original price. So I had to argue with them to confirm exactly what I had paid. Um, in the end, after like about three or four hours, I can't remember exactly how long, I finally managed to get to the downtown Grand. Um, I had a very quick shower. I didn't even unpack my case. And I then went down uh, to play uh, in the downtown Grand with a view to moving on, I think, to the Cal or something uh, that particular night. But I basically stayed... And it was the first of my epic sessions on Lightning Link. Um, and I'd never experienced anything quite like it. So I've not shown the whole video here. But here are the best moments of uh, January 2019, episode one of Trip 38. This is the eighth best vlog moment. So here we are on Dollar Pinball in the high limit room of uh, Downtown Grand. <laughs> and the uh, beers are beginning to uh, <laughs> stack up. Oh, I'll tell you what, you know, I got back to this uh, hotel and I just thought I could so easily go to bed and here I am, hours later. Anyway, <laughs> we've all been there, right? At least I hope we have. If you watch me, I hope we have. Anyway, here we go. Pull the uh, purple handle. You can't beat it. Here we go. 25 bucks. So you get five shots in total. Yes, yeah, so this is decent, 50 uh, bucks already. Okay, 10 slots are good. Oh, give me an eight here in the middle there. Here we go, final game. Okay, the last three weren't great. But 80 bucks. Uh, I tell you, we're still trucking. <laughs> I must admit, tonight is crazy. Um, I'll explain all at the end, but basically, we've got too many bonuses on a $5 bet, which is uh, two lots of 100. Um, I was down big time. And it's all turned around, so uh, let's see what happens. Here we go. Still after the 988. Another 15. Come on. Come on, do it. And I must admit, from uh, sort of swinging into Vegas late and not really been into it actually I was I was really tired <laughs> tonight has turned into a, an absolutely fucking fantastic night excuse my French here we go two left come on come on that's still good. That is really good. Two minis. Very nice.
That is crazy. It really is crazy. Wow. I'll update you at the end, as always. Okay, we're on this machine again. As you know, everything else, all the, uh, <laughs> and I get the mini bonus, right? What do I get? The minor bonus. And I don't film it. <laughs> I got 600 bucks right there. Oh my word. Tonight has been insane. I've been so tired, seriously. Um, uh, anyway, I will explain tomorrow. I've got mini 100, minor 500. Incredible. I'll film this one, but now nothing else will happen. <laughs> Incredible. What a night. Last spin. I'm not surprised. There you go. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Crazy. Vegas is insane. The flight here is insane. The customs is, is insane. Everything about it's insane. But in a good way. This is one of my best ever wins actually. In terms of uh, personal satisfaction. <laughs> oh, hang on, I've not even finished. I forgot about that. Well, no, I have finished. <laughs> anyway, here we go. I'm on $1,328. And I also have 600 in my pocket. Well, what can you say? It's still insane. I'm still doing five dollars a bet, and uh, that's the screen. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Oh my God! There's a hundred there. Hundred, fifty, seventy-five. Wow! This is incredible. Come on. Oh my God, minor bonus. 500, 500, 500 is there as well. This is absolutely insane. And 1151. Oh my God, oh my God. I tell you what, bearing in mind, right? <laughs> I, I need to explain this whole night to, uh, when, you, when you're watching this vlog, but. I was down to nothing. Here we go. This is in absolutely insane. Here we go. Absolutely insane. Come on. Another 50. This is ridiculous. This is probably one of my best ever wins on a first one. Well, not just first night ever. <laughs> Come on. One spin. Come on. Let's get that major at 993. Just to finish it off nicely. Huh? Unbelievable. Well, to say I'm happy with that is an understatement. Here we go. Crazy. <laughs> 985 bucks on top of on top of that I mean that is a hand pay every day of the week and I've got 500 uh, quid in my pocket sorry dollars in my pocket incredible
I'm tired, I'm emotional. I need to go into the primary clue or something. <laughs> Yeah, it's a pretty special her. Uh, may not have been a hand pay that night, but um, it was, well, it was in all but uh, name, really. A, a phenomenal uh, slots session. OK, we're moving on to number seven now. And uh, one of the things I really love doing in my uh, solo trips is taking a bit of a road trip. Um, and again, um, I was thinking, what road trip should I include in this sort of top ten? I could have, again, done a number of them. And it was quite close. I really enjoyed, even though I wasn't particularly keen on Laughlin at that time of the year. Uh, I may well revisit Laughlin in a future trip because uh, Rob Gosius uh, is holed up at uh, Harrah's in Laughlin an awful lot these days. So I may take a trip to see him there if uh, um, he's, he's there when I am. Um, so I could have included that one because I think that's a really, really good vlog. But I've decided to include episode five of the January 2018 trip um, trip number 35 the trip is otherwise known as the one with Colin and uh, we took a trip out on uh, day five to area 51 now if anyone ever asks me what's the best road trip to take from Vegas I'll always say area 51 uh, I've been out there twice solo and obviously once with Colin which ha uh, was vlogged it was a hysterical trip Colin is hysterical right um, so these are the best moments of the Area 51 day with Colin. Um, this is a, a, a vlog I, I probably recommend you watch in its entirety. Anyway, number seven, Area 51 with Colin from uh, January 2018. God, we so we've entered the extraterrestrial highway 375, and I'm not kidding, it is eerie. This is really, really eerie, isn't it, man? Oh, God, it is. This is where we need to keep our eyes peeled for alien activity. Um, we actually saw a But before film. we do that, we need to get a picture by the sign. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Rachel's that way. Okay, yes, yeah, so I know where we are now. Keep left to continue on Nevada 375 okay. North. So we're going down here, and here's the sign. Look, here it is. Here it is. Continue on oh Nevada 375 God. North for 39 we'll miles. Here we go. We'll, we'll, we'll get out. Oh my God. But look. I love the typeface. It's obviously been written by aliens. It has, hasn't it? Colin's convinced he saw something out of the corner of his eye, weren't you? A black speck, and then it disappeared, and then another one. Really? Two? So, well, one on the left, one on the right. Wow. But look, you can see it all stretching ahead of you in the, in the, in the distance there, look. What's that? There's some sort of smoke. Thing There's some sort the of smoke. There's something <gasps> weird up there. This could, be, this could be the first evidence. No, that's a very strange... That's it is, not a it? car. Slow down a bit, Matt. What that's is it? That's not a car. It's some sort of... Beat, some sort of... craft. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just coming up to Rachel. And it really is... <laughs> ramshackle would be the word. It's got a human population of 25. It says on the sign. 25 people? That's what it says on the sign. In a quarter of a mile, oh, you will arrive at your destination. We fancy living here, seriously. <laughs> I mean, that's the fuel station, except there's no fuel there. <laughs> <laughs> this must be. It's the, unbelievable. This must be the Ailey, Ailey Shack. Yeah, here we go. Here we are. You have arrived. Little alien. Here we are. Oh my god, I feel sick. <laughs> I'm so excited. I love it. Earthlings welcome. Right, let's go and have an alien burger. Huh? So behind the Christmas tree, I've just seen, I'm not sure if it's proof, but it looks pretty uh, conclusive to me, Colin. Look at that. <laughs> I love it.
So an incredibly memorable day out that was with Colin. Um, in fact, that whole trip was uh, incredibly memorable. Um, right, moving on to number six. Um, now, number six, I couldn't actually um, split a number of elements of this trip. Um, suffice to say that the August 2019 trip with Suzanne, it was a 14-day extravaganza. Um, and that, for me, is head and shoulders above anything else I've done vlog-wise. I think that whole trip is as perfect a set of vlogs as I'm ever likely to make. Um, both from a gambling perspective, it was spectacular gambling most nights. Um, because I was with Suzanne, it was very balanced in terms of uh, balancing up the gambling with um, you know, the food element. Um, we went up uh, uh, the high roller and various other things. Um, so you had an awful lot of content there, 14 days. I love August trips. I um, Really, Augusts for me um, are all about Vegas and they have been for years and years and years. So um, I love going to Vegas in the heat. Uh, in the summer and uh, I love going there with Suzanne and spending two weeks so I couldn't split a whole load of these so really um, I'm going to show you a couple of things firstly the very first vlog where we arrive um, I did the lucky um, uh, spots in Caesar's Palace then walked straight into the casino and you'll see what happened next and then we'll whiz forward um, to the very last segment it bookended the trip so perfectly um, with a session uh, from the downtown grand so my number six um, is really the whole trip, if I'm honest. Um, my favourite vlog series of them all from August 2019. Before we do anything else, I've uh, been researching Caesars and there are five good luck spots in this hotel that you should visit before you gamble here. So I thought I'd do this as, a, um, as an opening gambit, really. Now, the first one um, is the Shrine of the Four-Faced Brahma. Um, so you're supposed to visit here and I need to hunt down the other four. So join me on a very brief tour of Caesar's Palace um, and when you next come, well we'll see how I do gambling wise first but <laughs> if I do well then you might want to do the same. And the second uh, good luck spot is Michelangelo's Statue of David which is on the way to the Palace Tower and the Appian Way shops. And you have to touch his big toe. There you go. And next up, uh, number three, is the very famous <laughs> Cleopatra's barge. And you have to touch her chest. <laughs> I'm only doing it for luck. I might as well touch both, I guess. <laughs> there you go. And the fourth uh, lucky spot is uh, Joe Lewis's statue, which is uh, by the sports book in Caesars. And you're supposed to fist bump. Four down, one to go. And then finally, you have to rub the left index finger of Caesar for luck. So we've done it, so we're all five. So we are now all set to win some money. Let's see how we get on. Wow, hot news from, uh, <laughs> from uh, Caesar's Palace. Look at this, look at that screen. This is Buffalo Stampede. Um, I'm not sure how much this is. Should we see? Here we go. Oh my god, it's a fucking hand pay. It's a hand pay. I've just got a hand pay of 1458 bucks. So I decided to do a, a one cent bet from 50 cents a press to five dollars a press. One after the other, and I got the bonus on five dollars a press. I'm still on 266 bucks, so it's all good. Anyway, here we go. Flag bonus. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Oh my word. I just won a fucking I won a fucking ampo. Suzanne, I've just won the fucking ampo. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, I can't believe that. I am, um, well, 
This is unbelievable. Right, okay, we need to just like, right, right. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. I can't even describe. I tell you what, well, okay. Let, let's, let's leave this another time. Come on. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Here we go. That's a thousand bucks right there. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. I was doing 50 a press, five dollars a press. I hit the bonus on five dollars a press at one cent denom. That's a fucking sorry. <laughs> Suzanne's telling me off. That's a fucking hand pay right there. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> Unbelievable. That's unreal. Actually, it's not even a, is it not? No, it's actually not Ampay. No, it's 1,155. Well, it might be at the end. We've still got uh, a few more games left. Unreal. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks. Thanks a lot. So we're on 11.68 here on the Ham Bay Hunt. It would be great if it was 1200. I'd quite like that. You'd hope with three to go it would be. What a trip. Gambling wise, what a trip. Oh my God, it almost did it again. Yeah, it probably, it may not be a hand pay, but my God. No, it's not. It actually isn't. Well, anyway, who gives a fuck? <laughs> what a win. What a win. First day, last day. 1,175 bucks. Unbelievable. Yes, that really was something else, that trip. Um, thoroughly, thoroughly loved it. Um, the last two haven't been great. I think I've been paying for the luck in that trip ever since. <laughs> so uh, hopefully it'll take a turn for the better uh, next time I get back to Vegas. Huh? Okay, now we're moving into the top five now. So at number five, um, again, uh, I'm just gonna, uh, it's, it's a set of vlogs this time rather than one, one particular moment, but the strip walk series of vlogs comes in at number five of my favourite moments. Because uh, it is sort of, it's one entity, although it's uh, split into three parts. Um, I've, I've been thinking of doing something like this for a while, and uh, the only thing I, I had when I started doing this um, this series of videos, and I did them over consecutive days, it wasn't all filmed in one go, um, was a number of photos I'd had from um, the mid-2000s. Uh, so I was going to structure a, a few conversational pieces around the uh, the old photos that I had on my phone. Um, but I just started rambling on about various properties and my memories of them. And really that started the whole walkthrough video thing. And it just seemed to come out so naturally. And uh, I have got some stick actually from these videos from some people saying, you know, why are you mentioning your ex-wife? Well, you know, I, to be honest, I get stick from whatever videos I put up from certain quarters. Uh, uh, you basically can't please everybody in YouTube land, that is for sure. But um, ultimately, she was a, a piece of my Vegas history. And I was looking back um, over my 20 odd years, 21 years in Vegas. Um, and so she's going to be mentioned, right? And uh, I'd never spoken about it before. And as far as I'm concerned now, that's done and dusted. I'm not going to speak about it again. But um, to me, it was something that needed to be done. Um, uh, I loved doing um, the walk uh, down the strip. I loved... Uh, sharing with you some of the stories, some of the old photos. Um, so this is number six, Strip Walk Series uh, from May 2019. Uh, but we're going to start slightly north of the stratosphere and this gives you a clue as to why. <laughs> Just wed. Uh, 
I first came to Las Vegas in September 1998 with my then fiance. Uh, we decided to get married here the following September 99. Um, and we got married at the Chapel of the Flowers, which is just here. We visited uh, a few of them during our first trip and decided on this one. And to be honest, it was a really lovely, lovely wedding, actually. Um, my parents and sister came out. Actually, I, I mean, I haven't been back here for a long, long time. Uh, it's probably, uh, well, probably since, yeah, probably since the mid noughties. Actually, it's changed a bit. That, that never used to be there, that uh, gate thing. But we arrived um, for the wedding and <laughs> Elvis, an Elvis impersonator turned up and he, he, uh, we booked it through Virgin. You could, you could sort of book a, uh, a wedding then and <laughs> or an Elvis the themed wedding then. And he turned up thinking we booked it. Now I hadn't booked it. Uh, and uh, basically have we gone through with it rather than say I do, when he asks uh, you the vows and everything, you just say, uh-huh. <laughs> so uh, anyway, I turned him away. I mean, as it turned out, um, he probably should have done it and sung Heartbreak Hotel. <laughs> it would have probably been more apt in the end, but um, it was a great day, a really, really great day. And we then had our sort of wedding breakfast at Olives um, in Bellagio, literally with a table that overlooked the fountains. And actually my wife and I uh, got a picture of us playing Wheel of Fortune in our wedding outfits, <laughs> which was quite funny. Some things never change, eh? And Planet Hollywood, uh, I first stayed there, well, actually when we first came to Vegas, uh, it was the old Aladdin building. They still had the sign up and uh, I remember it saying congratulations Paris on opening in 1999 and then they imploded that and obviously built Aladdin and if you look very carefully at uh, some of the not this stuff at the front here particularly but the actual original building you can still see, still see the Aladdin theme including of course the the rain in the uh, Miracle Mile shops But the interesting thing is I, I then uh, came back with Suzanne. It was Suzanne's first ever trip here in 2010 uh, was to Planet Hollywood. But going back to 2004, um, basically there was nothing opposite here. And I do have a photo from, we had a suite fairly high up. And uh, I'm gonna put on the screen now the, the shot of Bellagio from one side of the suite. And you can see if you look uh, that uh, Caesar's Palace Tower being built. And now I'm gonna put on the screen um, a shot from the other angle, looking down towards New York, New York. And as you can see from where you've got Waldorf Astoria, Aria, etc there is nothing in fact what you can see if you look very closely in the middle of that picture is the boardwalk casino which is the one with the clown face on it if any of you remember that and that really was all that was between Bellagio and Monte Carlo <laughs> seems hard to believe with uh, all this here now yeah so those series of vlogs Clearly, it really is um, three videos that need to be watched back to back in their entirety uh, to get the full effect. But uh, you get the gist from the uh, clips I included there. OK, moving on to number four now. Um, now, this was a big moment for me. Uh, we're going way back now to January 2016 again. Um, episode five of trip number 31. Um, now, this... Uh 
I've, I've played Wheel of Fortune for so many years. Um, ever since uh, 1998, when I first uh, came to Vegas, um, I've been playing that damn machine. And mostly um, in the early days, as I've said on numerous occasions, it was a 25 cent version. So 75 cents a press. So uh, the thousand coin jackpot on the wheel um, wasn't a thousand dollars. It was two hundred and fifty dollars on the quarters. Um, and I, I always said back then, oh, God, I don't know what I'd ever do if I hit the thousand on a dollar machine. It was it was sort of unknown territory because I wasn't comfortable playing two dollars a press in those days. It's hilarious thinking about it now. But it's true. Um, but in January 2016, I'd sort of uh, moved on to the dollar um, uh, two dollars a press wheel of fortunes um, at the California where I was staying for this particular trip. And finally, finally, I hit the thousand on uh, the Wheel of Fortune uh, wheel. Uh, this uh, could have been you know, in the top two or three of these videos, but uh, it's at number four, $1,000 uh, Wheel of Fortune jackpot from uh, January 2016. <laughs> Unbelievable. literally about to press collect. Thank you for playing Wheel of Fortune. So a fantastic moment and one that I uh, sincerely hope happens again, although it is quite difficult to get those $2 Wheel of Fortunes um, these days. They all seem to be, uh, you know, five, eight, ten dollars $10 a press. But um, anyway, we live in hope. Um, right, moving on to the top three now. Um, and at number three um, is... Um, a moment from my last trip in March 2020, trip number 42 before uh, COVID-19 closed Vegas. Um, as you know, I love the Louis Theroux documentary. Um, Richard Wilk is a major, major star of that documentary and a bona fide um, Vegas celebrity. So uh, to get the chance to interview him um, and uh, for him to invite myself, Drew and Rob out for a VIP night at the D... Um, was one of my, not only my vlog highlights, a personal highlight, um, to be honest. And uh, yes, that was just an epic night. And the interview, um, I was a little bit nervous uh, to start with, to be honest, but um, it went very well. And uh, I'm proud now to call Richard a friend of mine. Um, so the Richard Wilk VIP night out and interview um, is at number three in my top 10 vlog moments. So uh, we're, we're off down to the D and we thought we'd miss the D limousine, but I don't think you really can. Here we go. Uh, where is Rob? So this is our ride downtown tonight. Pretty cool. <laughs> okay. Go on, guys. Didn't you get? Where is where is Rob? Hang on. Anyway, I'll film from inside there in a sec. <laughs> so here we are. Look at this. Look at this. For absolutely fucking fantastic one. Anyone want a mixed drink? Your hey, you're the bartender, Drew. Hey, what are you making? I'll drink. Uh, all right. Go for it. I mean, I mean, this this really is. This what really up, is. Baby doll? Yeah, this is the D in Star. Look at this. This is fully themed. This place. This is sponsored by YouTubers by the name of Matt. Brady. Yeah, this this is what YouTube does for you. You know. Oh, yeah. Does it get any better? This is, oh, yeah. this is YouTube money. <laughs> we're having a great time. Well, we're losing our ass on the gambling, but at least we get a ride on the. Uh... <laughs> Look at this. Mr. Benny. Hey Drew, just just pour me whatever you want. Do, do your speciality. Do you want a Bud Light? You want a, what do you, what I don't do you want a Bud Light. No, I love I love a spirit thing. <laughs> yeah. But what do you, do you prefer vodka, whiskey, or rum? Uh, vodka. Oh, perfect. You some, do you want Coke, Diet Coke, or uh, uh, yeah, Diet Coke's good. We'll go for that. I love the lights in this place. It's pretty cool, right? It's awesome. <laughs> said, uh, getting down with the D. Baby. Yeah, getting down with the D. I mean, this what is this is this is really VIP treatment. It really is. This is better than what the trooper gets. <laughs> <laughs> better than the trooper gets. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That a, Cheers! That's, Thank you very much. That's a, a Grey Goose and Diet right there. Andrew, what's the uh, other? What's the whiskey? So there's, uh, it's, so it's Crown Royal. Can I get? Can I get this? Oh, let's see what they got over here. The bottom. How cool is this, people? Seriously. Does anybody want champagne? Oh, you got champagne oh, there? Are you I being like serious? Champagne. <laughs>
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let on muff. <laughs> hey, thanks, Matt. <laughs> yeah, no worries. People, you know, if you want a good night out, just Sorry, just give me a call. Out. You know, it's it's, it's all good. It's all good. Crown Royal, please. What do you want? Crown Royal, please. Crown Royal and what? On rocks. And we do have a trained barman in Drew as well. He, yes. he is fully oh, trained. Andrew, <laughs> pimp out your place. Clean and clean hands. Brown Royal on the rocks. Yes, sir. And, and pimp out your place. Yeah. So Drew's two, actually actually Drew weeks. is relocating. Where are you relocating, Drew? Six, six months. Six, six months. I'll be down in St. John, and I'll be working on St. Thomas. Fantastic. Down in the Virgin Islands, nice. American Virgin Islands. So Matt, you'll need a passport. To come yeah. Out. Well, I doubt I'll get there with what's going on now. But uh, gonna be yeah, here, completely. So. Yeah. Matt's well. gonna be a refugee in America. <laughs> And that's fun with yeah. us. The good thing is I've decided okay. I'm going to live in the storm drains. Yeah. Hey, and so. you yeah, come visit Missouri, right? <laughs> you just stay in lava with me, we're good. You want a double there? Sure, why not? Right, I'll be back with you in a second. This is so fucking cool, this place. <laughs> it really is. It's like, boy, it's like your own little apartment, yes. isn't it? This is brilliant. It's almost the size of my room. So cool. <laughs> Yes, thank you. So anyway, we're going to do a big cheers for right. a great night out. We're going downtown right. at the D, courtesy of Richard Wilk. Thank you, Richard. This is, uh, well, fucking awesome, frankly. Oh, it really yeah, is. Really Dr. Awesome. Wang approves. And Dr. Wang approves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is, I mean, this is, I mean, this is doing Vegas right, this is. Oh, yeah. It really is. Vegas like this. Yeah, so this is, uh, yeah, if you can get one of these little, uh, little rides, you know, just, or just a little YouTube channel. Or a little YouTube audience. channel. It, it all works out in the end. <laughs> Fantastic. Good stuff. So we're upstairs in uh, the D, which was the, uh, well, it still is the retro area, with Richard. Richard's there. I'm, meet, I'm meeting Richard on Tuesday for a chat. So he's going to be in the blog on Tuesday. Um, but this is a fantastic new bar. Look at this. This is really, really cool. And this whole, there we go. There's loads of people here. But this whole, this whole top bit has been redone. Everything brand new. The carpet smells new. It looks absolutely stunning, it really does. So, that's and, the difference. And the big question, obviously. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, again, another rumor. Uh, somebody put something up of uh, their Uber driver being Alan. Um, is Alan an Uber driver? All right, so the story with Alan, and to put it to rest for everybody. Yeah. Yes, he drives an Uber. Okay. But let me explain something about Alan. Alan had a big company back home. He sold 50% of it. Then he ended up selling all of it. And um, Alan had some life troubles. Um, and you all got to know Alan. Alan gambled with the money he could afford to. Mm -hmm. Didn't affect his livelihood, didn't affect his family, didn't nothing like that. Alan had um, a, a, very, a very sad, tragic thing happen to one of his sons. Changed his whole life. But, and um, people don't know that. 
people want to jump to conclusions that he went broke and he's driving an Uber. No, he's not. He's he's retired mm -hmm. and spending time with his other two kids. Okay. Okay, moving on to the second best vlog moment of all time. Uh, I mentioned earlier with the group pool the uh, first hand pay I'd had since 2007, albeit in a, a group environment. So number two, um, it's a fucking hand pay <laughs> from uh, January 2019. So if you remember from the clip you saw earlier of the opening night of, uh, of 2019, uh, the January 2019 trip, night two, so episode two of trip 39 in January, um, was the hand pay on Walking Dead. Um, I've never been as excited in my life. Uh, as a slot player, it was incredible. I'm still waiting for the big hand pay, you know, sort of what I would consider big would be sort of 3K plus or 5K plus. But hey, I mean, this was amazing. Uh, something I'll never forget. I, I was, certainly wasn't expecting it. So number two, it's a fucking hand pay, Walking Dead from January 2019. So I'm back on the uh, Walking Dead machine uh, in the plaza. This is the one that uh, I won on in... March and August, 700 odd in March and 300 odd in August. And if you want to play it, it's uh, you've got basically four Buffalo Grands, two Walking Deads against the wall, and this is the second one. So I'll put the money in from Chronos down to 138 and then hit the jackpot bonus at 150 a bet. Come on, let's see what we get. I'm not, get, I'm not gonna get excited with the big ones because this seems to happen with me all the time. I'll probably get a, like a times 10 grand in a minute. I mean, look, again, it's doing it again. If you remember last time I had times something on the, first, uh, on the top three and then ended up winning the mini. <laughs> oh my, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. But the mini's now at times four. I'm now getting excited. Actually, major would be amazing. It's gonna be the mini, I'm sure of it, but. No, major! Times four! It's a fucking hand pay! <laughs> oh my god! I've actually got a hand pay. This is my first solo hand pay. Oh my god, since 2007. Since 2007, people. Fantastic. Um, and we reach uh, number one. So uh, in true sort of Radio 1 style, I'm going to run down the top 10. So at number 10, Night at Circus Circus from January 2016. Number nine, uh, the first ever group slot pool from uh, August 2018. Uh, number eight, um, the first night, legendary first night from January uh, 2019. Number seven, the Area 51 visit with Colin from January 18. Uh, number six, my favourite ever trip really, it's the whole trip. Um, the gambling and the holiday from August 2019, trip number 40. Uh, number five was the strip walk series from May 19. Uh, number four, the $1,000 Wheel of Fortune jackpot from January 2016. Number three, the Richard Wilk uh, VIP night out and interview from March 2020. And at number two, uh, the Walking Dead hand pay. It's a fucking hand pay from uh, January 2019. So we now come to the my favourite ever uh, vlog moment. I'm sure you can guess what it is. Uh, when Colin came with me to Vegas uh, on the second day, we'd had some horrific luck. And I mean, everything we touched lost. Um, after we went, we were staying at Luxor at the time, we went down to uh, Cosmo, we lost everything in there. Uh, and then we had to scurry back to, uh, <laughs> to Lu Lu Luxor. See, I'm laughing now just thinking about it. Uh, scurry back to Luxor. Uh, to return to the safe. Now, we filmed this clip on the bridge between um, Cosmo and Aria. I almost deleted it on the spot. We just thought it was just too much to put in the video. Um, but then I said to Colin, I remember saying to him, we've got to put in the vlog what actually happens. So I'm going to stick this clip in, um, for better or for worse. Uh, whenever I see it, even now, uh, a few years later, it reduces me to to tears actually forming in my eyes through laughter. So number one, the best ever vlog moment for sure for me, and um, probably the funniest moment I've had in my adult life, um, is Colin and I laughing about having to go back to the safe and having lost all of our money from January 2018. So I'm gonna leave you with this clip. Um, thank you so much for watching. 
Thank you for the 15,000 subscribers. I hope you are all safe. Um, and I hope, very much hope, that I will get to see you in Vegas at some point this summer. Um, obviously, I need to wait for UK quarantine regulations to be lifted. Um, but more importantly than that, probably the US travel ban for um, Europeans and uh, um, UK uh, travellers. So we'll see what happens. But um, anyway, enough of that. I'll leave you with Colin and I on the bridge between uh, Cosmo and Aria. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you next time. So we're playing roulette, or sorry, Colin's playing roulette here. And um, basically, uh, or do you want to explain what you've, <laughs> what you've done? I don't know how to explain it best, but this is probably the worst ever roulette session I've ever played. <laughs> Ever. and I've been playing roulette for years since I was like 20 and um, what's basically happened is whatever I've, I've decided to back the cold numbers which are 5, 9, 7 those kinds of things and reds so I have a group of cold numbers which are backed and reds and basically the hot numbers which are 34, 32, 33, 26, 8 have come in every single time <laughs> Switch, they've switched to the low numbers. You just can't win whatever you do. Like Matt said, you can't make it up. You, you really couldn't make this up. Everything he's putting the uh, the chips on, it's the opposite that's coming in. Absolute opposite. One. So, Did you have that? No. <laughs> so now I was back in the high numbers. Oh like, my word. Now the low numbers are coming in. I'm going to have two more bets and then we're going to go for lunch, I think. Yeah, I, th I, think, I think you're best to cut your losses, to be honest. And I've managed to turn sixty dollars, which is my remaining money for today. Right, into, okay, into, into amount, I don't know what this is. To this amount, thirty dollars. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, it's my most he, successful. Run he's of the he's day. a losing I've winner. Half my money. It's been fantastic. That's fantastic, Colin. <laughs> Cheers. You've halved your money. I've halved my money. <laughs> Classic, my favourite game. I, I'd put the other half in just in case you could do the same. Well, actually, what I did is I lost the first twenty dollars, and then I switched machines for the final ten. <laughs> um, this is sums up my day, really. It does. It does really. So, how, how's it? How's it gone? Uh, well, early evening, so Colin. It's been a bit of a mixed bag of losing and then more losing. So, I, I also my strategy today and went with the hot numbers, thinking that back in the cold ones didn't really work. And again, I failed to win a single bet, but I did have quite a good game on Buffalo Goal, hitting the bonus feature and winning a massive $1.80 for my $40 investment. So overall, I think I'm just going to have a beer tonight and watch Matt gamble. And Oh my God, I don't know how we're going to explain this. Really. So basically, we're going back to the Luxor now because... Um... <laughs> I think it's the safes are there. <laughs> we're going back to the safe. <laughs> Sorry, we've been crying with laughter about this. You, you had to be there, but it... it... What an awful night's nice gambling. I mean, the pair of us have lost. Um, <laughs> Colin's already... Have you been back to the safe? I've had my hands in the safe already. I'm going to go back for some more. He's, he's going but, back to the safe for a second time. Considering we've got so many... Considering... Ha 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 ha!